A grenade is an explosive weapon typically thrown by hand but can also be referred to projectiles shot out of grenade launchers. There are several types of grenades like fragmentation grenade, high explosive grenade and smoke grenade. Different types of hand grenade differ not just in function and effects but construction, means and materials, safety mechanism and how they are thrown. Making assumption that any two grenades function similarly can be fatal. Grenades require a prescribed manner of delivery to ensure proper employment, maximal effect upon the recipient and the safety of user. Fragmentation grenades are probably the most common in modern armies. They are weapons that are designed to disperse lethal fragments on detonation in order to damage in as wide area as possible. The body is generally made of hard synthetic material or steel which will provide some fragmentation as shards and splinters, though in modern grenades a preformed fragmentation matrix is often used. The MK2 grenade is a fragmentation type anti-personal hand grenade introduced by US Armed Force in 1918. The MK2 hand grenade consists of safety pin, safety lever and body. The body of grenade made of serrated cast iron holds a power delay fuse mechanism which is surrounded by reservoir of explosive material. Let's now look at how all these parts work together to create an explosion. Underneath the safety lever is a striker which is under pressure of striker spring. Held in place with the help of safety pin. If the safety pin is removed, the striker will push away the safety lever and strike the primer under the pressure of the spring. The operator uses one hand to hold the safety lever firmly against the grenade body, while the other hand is used to remove the safety pin. When safety pin is removed, striker is prevented by the safety lever from striking the primer because the operator is still pressing the safety lever against the grenade and therefore, until the grenade is held in hand, the safety lever will not strike the primer and grenade will not explode. Once the operator has thrown the grenade, the safety lever will be released and the striker spring will rotate the striker until it impacts upon the primer. The primer ignites a chemical delay fuse which will burn for approximately 4 seconds. The delay burns until it reaches the detonator and at this point detonator will explode. This is a small explosion which causes fire and explosive filled in the grenade. This explosive burns very quickly and produces lot of hot gases. As these gases find no way to escape, pressure keeps building up. And finally a time comes when the cast iron casing is not capable of holding this high pressure and it breaks apart causing explosion. Fragmentation grenade produce fragments with a casualty radius of 10 to 15 meters requiring cover for the thrower. These grenades are designed to kill or incapacitate with high velocity fragments. Hence the blast effect is secondary only. Depending on size and form of fragments, the effective radius is about 15 meters. However, individual fragments may travel as far as 150 meters. We have seen in movies that hero of film pull out safety pin of grenade with his teeth and throws on the enemy. 
but is this done really or only in films but before that let me tell you that generally recommended proper technique is to properly grip with one hand and twist and pull out the safety pin with other proper grip is particularly important to make sure never loosening of your grip on the grenade safety lever before you throw the grenade because if safety lever is loosen enough the striker can hit the primer which will ignite the delay fuse and soldier may think that he has not released the safety lever and therefore he is safe probably this was the reason due to which a soldier was killed during a live fire training exercise while he was practicing with m67 fragmentation grenade another technique is to release the lever before throwing the grenade which allows the fuse to burn partially and decrease the time of detonation after throwing This is referred to as cooking. A shorter delay is useful to reduce the ability of enemy to take cover, throw or kick the grenade away and can also be used to allow a fragmentation grenade to explode into the air over defensive positions. This technique is inherently dangerous due to shorter delay, meaning a closer explosion and also fuse length vary from grenade to grenade. And thus use of this technique is discouraged. Therefore to minimize the window of opportunity for the enemy after throwing grenade grenade is thrown hard enough so that it bounces or skip around being hard to pick up and throw back now coming to the question of pulling the pin of grenade with the teeth no you do not pull a pin with your teeth to pull pin out the ring attached to pin is pulled the pin is bent at back on either side to form a T and firmly holds the pin at the place To remove the pin, decent amount of force is required to make the end of pin straight. For example, the relatively common M67 grenade takes about 3 to 5 kg of force to pull the pin out. Not too tough, but not suitable for teeth anyway. 